Welcome, dear doers. As StudyWood grows, we need more and more talented people to join us. With recruitment comes a recruitment process, and it's essential to get it right because this process involves a lot of costs and will speak volumes about our company. It's a direct reflection of StudyWood's professionalism. And of course, there are also many benefits to a good recruitment process. And it will be easier to take advantage of these benefits with a good recruitment software. A traditional recruitment method would mean a lot of administrative work and tedious tasks for our HR team, meaning they're spending less time recruiting and more time doing annoying things like sorting emails or looking for the right information. Who wants that? With a good recruitment software, they can focus on what they're good at, such as making our applicants pass a VoIP comp test while everything else will be sped up and automated. At the same time, we can use the recruitment app to receive applications from a wide range of sources. Then we can gather candidate data and find a heap full of useful information. This is really important when it comes to choosing the best candidate. We can also analyze from which source our candidates come from and optimize our recruitment budget, spending money where it's the most useful. For these reasons, we will use Odoo's recruitment app, which will allow Stealthy Wood to set up job boards and promote job listings easily. After that, we will keep track of the submitted applications and follow every applicant based on automatically built database of skills and profiles with index documents. To that purpose, we will create a Kanban view with customized steps so our recruitment process will meet our needs. With the accurate statistics feature, we will then have a good overview of our recruitment pipeline and have more opportunities to find the rare gems. So let's build this in our company's database. All right, here I am on my database. Let's go straight to the recruitment application. And from here, I'm going to have a dashboard overview of all of the positions I'm currently re recruiting for or I'm about to start recruiting for. All right, but let's go ahead and create a new job position right away. So I'm going to go to configuration, job positions, and I'm simply going to click on the create button. Once I do that, the only thing that is necessary for me to add is the title of the job position. So here I say assistant to the regional manager, but it would be useful if we added some other information as well. So let's go ahead and fill out some of these other fields. So of course we can specify the company or the website if we're in a multi-company or multi-website environment. I can choose the department as well. So I'm going to do that right now. I can also specify the job location. Okay, uh, in this case, since it's the assistant to the regional manager uh, for my employee who works for Stealthy Wood USA, the job location will be at their offices. I can also add an email alias uh, that's specific to this job position. Then on the right side, we're going to be able to say um, how many expected and new, new, how many new employees are expected. Excuse me. And in this case, I only need one assistant to the regional manager. And then below, we're going to be able to add the contract template and the interview form. If you don't have an interview form already created or you want to create a new one, you can do so easily on the fly by clicking on create and edit. But I'm going to go ahead and select my generic recruitment form and then I can go ahead and display what that will look like, but I'm going to show you that in just a minute. So I'm going to skip that step for right now. Then I can add a responsible. So let's imagine that someone from my HR department um, is responsible for the entire recruitment process uh, for this position. So uh, finding applicants, interviewing them, and so on. So I can go ahead and assign that responsible right now. So we're going to go ahead and say Eduardo. And then, of course, it would be useful if I had a job description. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say um, this job is only for the best of the best of everything. It's kind of vague, but let's hope we still get some applicants. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now we have some other options as well. Um, you're going to see these smart buttons at the top. So we will be able to quickly access all of the applications and all of the documents that are associated with those applications. Okay, I can also add some trackers to know uh, which, me which mediums my applicants are using. Okay, and then of course I can publish this on my website. But before I do that, we're actually going to go back to our dashboard. And I'm going to show you how you can manage these positions uh, directly from the dashboard. Okay, so first of all, if we haven't um, started the recruitment for a specific position yet, we can do that simply by clicking on the Start Recruitment button. Okay, and to end, um, to end the recruitment, we can go to these three little dots and click on Recruitment Done. 
If I select that, then we're going to be able, it's done. We're going to see that it's done and we're going to be able to start again uh, whenever we're hiring again for this position. All right, we can also see if it's published on the website. So you, you notice that not all of my um, uh, open positions are published. Okay, we can quickly go to the job description, um, share the trackers. Okay, and if we click on the three little dots again, we're always going to be able to edit the form or edit the job position completely. So let's go ahead and do that for that job position we created, ass assistant to the regional manager. So we're going to go to edit. Okay, and we're going to publish this. So I'm simply going to go to the website. I can edit this if I want to, so I can really customize this page. I can add some building blocks on the left or edit the text that's already here. Now, I talk about uh, editing your web pages more in the website video, so be sure you check it out. So I'm going to leave this the way that it is for now. So let's discard our changes, and then let's be sure that we actually publish this. So I'm going to go to the top and click on the button right here. Okay, so now that it's published, let's see what it looks like when we apply for the job. So I'll click on apply now and just add my information. Okay, so Amy Caroline, my email, pc at example.com, my phone number, a short introduction, I am the best, hire me, and then I will add my resume as well. Open and submit. Okay, as soon as I have submitted my application, I'm going to be redirected to a congratulations page, which is pretty neat. And then I'll suggest that uh, my applicant go ahead and check out our website and learn more about our company. But since I don't need to do that, I can go back to the recruitment application and check out that app. Okay, so we go to recruitment. And from the dashboard, we can go directly to the application by clicking on the application button. Okay, and from here as well, I see that Eduardo is the responsible for this job position. But now let's click on the one application. We see that there's a document attached. Now, if I just wanna look at the CV right away, I don't wanna bother going into the application itself. I can simply click on the attachment and here I am directly on the CV. But let's go ahead and open the actual application. I'm gonna see um, some of her basic information, such as email, phone number, um, and the job that, they, that she applied for. Okay, and then down below, I'll always be able to access the CV, and I can always um, upload more documents if I would like to by adding an attachment here. Okay, so let's say that um, after a first look at her CV, she looks pretty good. We're interested in meeting face to face with her. So I'm going to go ahead and move this application from the initial qualification stage to the first interview. Okay, so I'm going to click on first interview here. Now, if we go down to the chatter, we're going to see that we sent her an email saying that her resume has been positively reviewed and we're ready to move on to the next stage. Okay, and she will also see that she'll be soon, uh, she will soon be contacted by the responsible for this job position, and that's Eduardo, and we have his contact information there as well. So let's go ahead and schedule the meeting. Let's say Eduardo contacted her, um, and he's ready to schedule the meeting, and this will be for Friday. So first of all, we have a suggested summary for this meeting, which is Amy Caroline's application. I'm going to change this to Amy Caroline's first interview. And then I'm gonna click on create. Okay, of course we can drag and drop to change the time. All right, looks good. Now if we jump back to the application, we're gonna see that we have that meeting scheduled right here. And then there will also be an activity um, that's due. So I can go ahead and um, then send, uh, we can go ahead and start the interview, excuse me, uh, with Amy Caroline. And to do that, we can simply click on the start interview button. So let's say she arrived. And we have a pre preliminary form for her to fill out. She can go ahead and start the survey. And this is our basic re recruitment form again. And then she can just add the information. Which country are you from? Which university did you graduate? Um, did you apply from an employee? Education? Past work experiences? knowledge, activities, and again, you can customize this uh, to make it exactly what you would like. Okay, and we wanna see what's important to Amy Caroline as well. And of course, everything is important. 
and let's go ahead and submit this survey. And once the survey is submitted, we're going to be able to, of course, access her um, answers. So let's go back to the application. And once we're on the app, I can always print that survey, okay, or can print that uh, interview form by clicking on the print interview button. Okay, it's as simple as that. I can quickly review um, or I can actually print this for all of the people who are going to be interviewing her face to face. Okay, but let's jump back. All right, now let's say that uh, her first interview was so good, she was so impressive that we're going to skip the second, the third stage, which is the second interview, and we're going to go directly to the contract proposal. So I'm going to click on this button right here, and I'm actually going to be able to uh, generate an offer for Amy Caroline directly from this application. So I simply have to click on the generate offer link. Okay, so I can choose my contract template. Um, if I don't have one, I can always create and edit one on the fly. Again, I can add the job title. So of course, I want to be sure I have the correct title here. Um, I have the contract type, and I can also add other information as well. So if they can request a new car, um, the specific vehicle, the employee budget, everything like that. And I can provide them with the simulation link so they can um, see what the offer actually is. Okay, so once I've done that, let's say she has accepted the offer. First of all, I can uh, move the stage from contract proposal to contract signed. And I can also create a new employee for Amy Caroline in my system from right here. So let's create the employee. Yes, we're sure Amy Caroline is the best. So let's go ahead and create an employee for her. And we have a lot of information already populated. Okay, so the job position, uh, the work address, um, we also have the phone number um, and the email, everything that we need. And then we can save. All right, uh, but of course she needs a manager. So we need to um, add the manager and then we will be able to save her um, employee information. So as you can see, the flow is really easy, especially once you have the job positions and the recruitment forms set up. And honestly, recruitment has never been easier. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.